hi everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well guys i have a huge video for you right now this video is packed full of like 30 embossings using air dry clay this is one of my favorite things to do some of you may remember i think it was two years ago on my channel i posted a video of 12 <laughs> 12 air dry clay embossing ideas this video is double that it is huge it took like four hours to film two hours of footage to edit down and honestly one of my favorites i've just finished the ending <laughs> i hope you love it because i love it I will just start by saying I am using Das Air Dry Clay. I got this from The Works. That is a store here in the UK. It's four pounds a kilo. It is such a good deal. I actually used one whole pack to make all of these embossed decorations. You will also need your rolling pin and any clay tools of choice. I found this gorgeous cookie cutter. Now it's actually a bauble shaped cutter. I found this on Amazon. I will link it below. Now it is a little bit flimsy. So in every single video you are going to see me pushing this into the clay using a small wooden circle because if I tried to push it in using my hands I was really distorting it. It was very clear to me this had been 3D printed which is fine it worked it did the job but it's better than the conventional round cookie cutter where there's no real gap for a hole. I absolutely loved using these. Okay oh my gosh I'm gonna stop talking. We have got all sorts guys we have got glass we've got wood we've got things that you've already made things lying around the house and oh, we've got puppy George's little paw print. Now a few extra things you might want to use is some depth markers to make your pieces completely the same depth. I didn't bother with that. You might also need a blade to scrape off and a drying rack. I took your advice guys and I actually dried my air dry clay pieces on a drying rack. They dried overnight. What? They dried overnight. If you remember my last video it took a week. Anyway I'm gonna stop. Let's go. Wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. I'll be home for a couple of days, wander around with you. You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true. Wherever I go, I got you. Stop running, there is no way trying You better loosen your belts Drinking up wine by the fire Don't care of anything else It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas and outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Oh, it's such a charm Got you up in my arm There's nobody at the door You said I wish this will never be over Darling, it's time for your present, come over here Now it is time to get out in the snow Lighting a light with you Choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring Nobody loves you as much as I do It's a wonderful feeling from floor to the ceiling It is that time of the year Drinking hot wine by the fire here on our own, we got nothing to fear It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend Pick up some candy canes And hang a wreath on your door It's Christmas And outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight it's just you and me tonight It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you
enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed filming it. I said it in my last air dry clay video, honestly, this is the most therapeutic craft you could ever take up. It's non-toxic, it's safe, it's lovely. Like I said in the last one, you can drink your cup of tea while you're crafting or your coffee. I had the Christmas music playing like last time and I got absolutely lost in the process. Now you can do things a lot neater than I have here. This is really for demonstration purposes only, just to give you some inspiration. And if anything, I hope you walk away from this video with at least a glimmer of inspiration. That is really all I want. Now back to the drying racks. I actually use these drying racks for my jesmonite, but one of you did suggest that I use these for air dry clay and that they dry in super quick time. So after I actually embossed each piece, I did lay it down on the floor on a piece of foam board. And then after about two hours, I lifted them off and I put them on the air dry clay. No, I didn't. I put them on the drying racks and it worked. And absolute dream. It was almost miraculous. They dried overnight. I could not be happier because honestly, yeah, this stuff takes forever. Anyway, like I said, I hope you have enjoyed this so, so much. Now, I am not going to finish this in today's video. I'm not going to paint them all. I'm not going to decorate them all. This video would end up being four hours long if I did that. But what I will say is you can finish them off with twine of your choice, ribbon of your choice, thread of your choice. I absolutely love the candy cane twine and the natural jute twine as well. So yeah, feel free to finish them off however you wish. The other thing to note is that these take to acrylic paint so, so easily. So if you did want to paint them, use any paint of choice, like a water-based paint would work beautifully and dry super, super fast. Now I have these cheap acrylic paints from the range. I think they were one pound or two pound a bottle. Really cheap and honestly they go so so far and I'm just going to show you a quick demonstration you can use a paint dabber a kitchen sponge or a paintbrush to paint your creations now the reason like I said I'm not doing all of these in this video is because it would just be way too long and I would lose all of you if I haven't already lost you so I am just showing you here how easy acrylic paint goes onto these now these two were up there as my favorite embossings from this video and just use your paintbrush to really shove it into all of the little details and all of the little nooks and crannies and once you've done that 
You could wipe off the excess with a tissue or a cloth and just expose some of those raised areas and already this looks absolutely gorgeous. If you wanted to take it one step further, you could of course use your embellishing wax or you could cover them all in PVA glue, add some silver foil, gold foil, dab it on, let it dry in. Honestly, the possibilities are absolutely endless for these. Now, some of these are different thicknesses, like the puppy one. I really didn't want to hurt George, so I made it super thick because I didn't want to press down on his paws too much. But some of the other ones are super, super thin. And honestly, they all dried in the same time. Overnight on the air dry rack, I am so happy that that worked out. So here they are all together. I am obsessed to say the least. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there are thousands more ideas. I didn't use any natural materials in this one and if you see my last video I will post it here again. I will also link it in the description box. I used some Christmas tree twigs. I used lots of other things. So anyway I hope you feel inspired. This is one of my favorite things to do. Get the Christmas music on, grab a coffee, enjoy, create, get lost. <laughs> Not get lost, get lost, but get lost. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> get lost in the creations. I will see you in the next video. Bye.